Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, I'm up here in Independence, Louisiana, with Julia Letlow, who's running for Congress for the 5th Congressional seat. That's right. right. And uh, I want to thank you all for listening and, and tuning in. I guarantee if you watch this, you're going to learn some things about this area and a candidate that's running here, Julia Letlow, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Julia, thank you so much for coming on, the, on today with me. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be with you. Well, I appreciate that, and, and it's an honor to be here with you because you know, we're going to talk about agriculture a little bit, and we're at a meet and greet on a farm, which you're going to see in the background. So take notice because this is very near and dear to her heart. But, well, Julia, where is your district? What is it actually? Sure. Where is it? Well, yeah, give me those boundaries. It's the largest geographical uh, district in the state. And so it goes all the way from northeast Louisiana, all the way down to the boot of the state. And we like to say from Bastrop to Bunky to Bogalusa and all points in between. But it comprises 24 parishes uh, of the state. So uh, it's, it's vast, it's large. So a lot of area to cover. A lot of area because it's all agriculture from what I'm sure, hearing, right? Sure, sure. You know, the, the, the majority of the district is rural. It's our rural way of life that I've come to uh, hold so dear and I'm excited to uh, possibly represent in Congress. I love that because you, so, you, so you've grown up in this whole area all this time. You know, I, I grew up from Monroe. I, uh, so I am technically a city girl, but yeah. I married a good old country boy, Luke Letlow, and he it. moved me out to, uh, to start Louisiana. Uh, which is about 12 miles east of Monroe. Uh, Tim McGraw hails from Star. Oh, really? Not sure if you know yeah. uh, uh, our claim to fame, but I'm so happy to be a part of the rural community. I, you know, I get to watch the sun rise and sunset every day. My children have plenty of land to, to play on, and, and it's just that that easygoing way of life that I've come to love, so so I'm excited to be a part of that. Well, talking about your way of life and being in this area, what are your achievements before marriage. Let's talk as you could you talk about Luke let go. We're gonna get to that a little bit more in a minute. Sure. But but before marriage, what were your major achievements? Sure. So my background is in higher education. You know, I remember being in fifth grade and you know the teacher asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, I want to be a college professor. I don't even know if I knew exactly what that meant. I just knew <laughs> right. I wanted to teach. And I remember going home and telling my parents about it and they said, Oh sweetheart, we have no doubt you're gonna be whatever you set your mind to. But when, if you could choose that route, choose a university wisely because you're gonna be in school for a very long time. Yeah. And, uh, and they were so right about that. But I had a wonderful education from my regional university of Louisiana Monroe. A wonderful experience there. Did my master's there in communication. And then I went on to the University of South Florida in Tampa yeah. and pursued a PhD and uh, I actually wrote a dissertation on uh, grief and that uh, has come to help me where I am in life right now uh, but how to how to find meaning after losing a family member um, and you know one of the main findings that I found in my dissertation is that when a person can get outside of themselves when they're going through that grieving process and serve others yeah. that it can actually help in the healing process. Well, not only that, but because you've experienced it, it gives you a little bit more empathy right. for other people. That's and because it. in your position, you're probably going to be experiencing a lot of people that have grief, whether it's emotional or That's financial. Right. That's it. And as a congressperson, you're going to be able to help them through that because That's you've right. had those experiences. That's right. Grief can affect you uh, from any kind of loss. It can be not just a loss of a family member, but loss of a job or loss of a, a marriage or, you know, anything that, that uh, causes hardship. So. so we talked about your achievements before marriage. What about during marriage? What do you think were your achievements during marriage? Sure. So. Wow, you know, being married to Luke, it was the ride of a lifetime. Um, he was amazing, taught me so much about public service and what that means. Um, you know, we had eight years together and uh, we actually moved to Denver, Colorado right after we were married. And uh, I'd, I'd currently been living in uh, New Orleans at the time, mm -hmm. uh, working for the Tulane University School oh, of wow. Medicine working with doctors on their communication skills. That was a really fun experience. Um, so we moved to Denver, he worked in oil and gas, and we got a, a phone call from a, a country doctor, you may have heard of him, Dr. Ralph Abraham. <laughs> and uh, he called Luke and, and said, I decided to run for Congress, and now I want you to come back and run my race. And um, you know, I was a little hesitant because we had just gotten out of the political yeah, just, sphere. Yeah. And, uh, and Luke said, Julia, just fly home meet Doc and Diane and you'll understand why we have to do this. And so we did that. I ran the communication side. That was my first foray in politics. 
uh, it just caught the bug, loved every minute of it. And so uh, over those next six years, Luke served as uh, Congressman Abraham's chief of staff. Uh, but I had this front row seat, if you will, yeah. to the happenings of Congress, uh, what they were able to do for the district. Mm -hmm. and. And then just being on the campaign trail it's with like a Luke, of the spark. That's it. This this past year and going to all 24 parishes and listening to the needs of the people and their dreams for this district and how they they envision it, us bettering it together. Um, they just stole my heart, and I knew I wanted to serve as well. But. Um, while Luke did that in, in government, I've been still uh, working in higher education oh, and wow. climbing the ranks there. Um, I actually had the immense honor of interviewing as a semifinalist for the University of Louisiana Monroe presidency this past summer. And that was an amazing experience. Yeah, because you learn more and more about yes, this. Yes, uh, but I was able to share a vision about education and how you can use education as a catalyst to uh, lift a region out of poverty. I truly believe that, and with my background in education, I want to do that, I'd be a champion for education in Congress. What I like about what you've pointed out is that, you know, while this district is your heart and soul That's and right. where, you, where, you, where you really have a passion for, you also have experience from other areas. That's you've right. lived in other areas. That's right. You've had other experiences, you know, that have been able to help educate you even further, That's if it. you will, That's you it. know, on how to help this area. And then also, you know, you didn't run, you know, but when you were helping Luke and Ralph, you got to be a bystander right. and see. That's right. So it's a whole other learning process. That's so you've it. experienced all the angles. That's right. You know, so that's, that's, that's right. this is, these are experiences that not many people have. That's right. That's right. What an honor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What about after marriage? What about, you know, in, in, the last, in the last few months? What do you feel your achievements recently? Yeah. It's been um, an immense honor to pick up the torch and carry it forward. You know, Luke spent 20 years of his life uh, paving the way for this, building yeah. relationships all over the state, all over the country. And uh, so for me to be able to pick up the torch and carry on that good work, you know, we shared uh, a, a mission together that we just wanted to, to make this region better for our children, for your children, for future generations. Isn't that what we all want? Exactly. Um, and so we carried that together and for me to be able to, to continue that good work forward, continue his legacy. I can't think of any better accomplishment to tell you right now. That's a good example of the teamwork right. that not only is good in a marriage, but is good for a state. That's it. It's good for our country to have to op, you know to operate as a, as, a, as a team like that so how are you going to use those qualities that's for your it. district that's it I think it's all about communication truly uh, so I have happened to have a, a background in communication and I think we need more of that in Washington yeah. you know uh, I think people are tired of the divisiveness and the ugliness and the darkness quite frankly and I think when you can start to build relationships with people and communicate with them and have a dialogue and you may not always agree but right. you agree to disagree and uh, you really work together to bring results back that will help the people that you represent. That's, that's amazing. That's yeah. what it's all about. And so uh, that's why I feel convicted and that I can use those communication skills. It sounds to me from hearing your story that you know, through your marriage and, and growing up and growing up and then marriage, of course, that, that you put family, you've always put your family first. Yeah. How are you going to put families, you know, in Louisiana first, along with while still being, you know, having your own family? Right. Well, it's always comes down to family. You know, Luke and I knew that uh, relationships and family first. And so uh, having that core, you know, I had two loving parents. I had a wonderful childhood growing up. Um, you know, that's what it's all about and, and keeping families um, healthy and intact and giving them what they need to thrive. And so as I would want that for my own family, I want that for every family in the 5th District and I'm going to work hard to make sure that they have that. You know, it sounds like you've had a lot of great achievements. You know, many people, you know, that go into politics or have points in their life, they go on, they have these stories of, you know, they might have been through lots of hard times through their whole life. It sounds like you've had your whole life a lot of these great achievements and learning and education and family, but you got blindsided. Right. How do you handle that now? How do you, how, you know, what's going to be, what, what, what have brought you through that and what's going to continue to help you sure. with being blindsided like that? Sure. Well, I'm uh, unfortunately no stranger to grief. I lost a brother uh, when he was 17 in a car accident mm. when I was in college and, and that was the impetus for me uh, choosing the path that I did in graduate school to write about grief and loss and uh, which has served me well now as I face another loss in my life. Um, but I'm, I'm truly doing this for my children and I'll tell you why. Um, because we're all going to face 
hardship, when mm -hmm. we're all going to face loss and trials and tribulations. And I want my kids to see that when life knocks you down, you have a choice. You can either give up or you can choose hope and you can keep going and you can keep going in faith. And I want them to see that in their mom. And I can't think of a better way to show them that than to serve other people. And that's what it's all about. So you might see me with two little ducklings <laughs> behind me, but I think they're going to be better for it. Oh, they're, yeah. they're going to be better for being a part of this process. You know, I have a wonderful support team in place that's going to help make this a reality. Um, if I'm so honored to be elected, but uh, yeah, that's, you know, I can't think of any better example to give to them than when life knocks you down, you keep, you get back up and you keep Having going. that family togetherness That's that you've it. had, That's having it. that love for your children and seeing that you want your district to be better for your, not only your children, but everybody's children and carrying that same thing, that, that same gift. I must say it's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift in your heart. You're going to be able to have that gift representing the people in this district, you know, and our country. So, so what is it about your district that pushes you? It's the people in this district that are just, they have, they have stolen my heart because in this rural district, we all really care about the same things. We have those core values. It's all about family, faith, um, just being there for your neighbor, being there for each other. Uh, they fuel me. You know, it's, it's, those, it's those simple um, way of life that I want to fight for and, and carry to Washington. You know, if you think about it, uh, right where we are in this district, we are the backbone of the nation. You know, we are that, that middle ground that's going to stand for those conservative something, values. Something in here is to be on somebody's plate. Right here, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And so it's up to us to continue uh, to move this country forward, and it would be an immense honor to be a part of that. Well, I, I not only do I like that, but let's talk about the products. What, what are the main products in this area Gosh, here? There are so many products. I've been spending a lot of time talking to farmers, ranchers, and loggers, you know, along the trail. I love to say we, we have the largest row crop district in the nation. Wow. And uh, it would be my desire to sit on the Ag Committee. I'm going to seek that out because I feel that that would, that would give us great representation here in the 5th District because Ag is so important and vital. Absolutely. Uh, it's vital to our country. It's a matter of national security, you know. Um, so I, I just, I, I feel excited to be able to represent the Ag community because they are such a huge part. They put food on our table. It doesn't come from the grocery stores. <laughs> on a microcosm, you're, in, you're, 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 you're representing this district on agriculture, but when you think about your passion and what's in your heart and your knowledge, you should be, what you're going to do here is going to help everybody in our country. Thank you. I think I think what's going to happen is you know, this is like I said, this is you know uh, such a large variety of industry here. You know, on a national level, you're really going to be helping people out a whole bunch with that. Gosh, yeah. that'd be an honor. Well, wh wh one last question for you. You know, what do you think you can do best for this district and, and representation wise? Sure. I think I can bring real results home. You know, I've watched my husband do it alongside Congressman Abraham. Um, I think that that's what people deserve. That's what they want in their representative. Just somebody that's not looking to go up there for sound bites or, right. or to be on television. Go up there, get the job done bring results home, represent us with integrity, and uh, and just get it get it done. And that's what I plan to do. And having family first. And family first, always. <laughs> <I love laughs> They'll it's, be right behind yeah, me. Yeah, I, 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 I love it. I yep. absolutely love yep. it. I, I'll have to tell you some stories about that. Yes, you yes. Know? But, uh, <laughs> drop something, sorry about that. But, uh, well, perfect. Well, Julia, thank you so much for coming on with me today. My I really pleasure. appreciate it. Good luck to you on the, on the trail. Thank you. And, uh, and, and hopefully we'll see you in Congress. Absolutely, thank you so much. And everybody, else please share this video around a little bit if you've got somebody in the district she gave you the boundaries uh, was it Bogalusa? To <laughs> Fast trip to Bunky to Bogalusa. You can go to julialetlow.com to learn more. <laughs> I love it. So share the video around let, let introduce other people to her and thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.